Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Argos Synonymous. This is Argos. We've got another one. Boy, this one's going to Canada. This Nightfall First Edition MetaZoo booster box is for my patron, Jeff. How, how do you pronounce that one? Jeff says, Sabo? It's, it's Quebec. So, in uh, Je ne parle pas beaucoup de français, je suis américain et très ignorant. <laughs> uh, that's all I know. So, we're, we're going to open this box for you and slice it up and hopefully get something Awesome! We've seen a lot of cool things coming out of here. We're gonna start with the Luck Dragon right from the beginning, just for kicks, and give Sting one more thirst, thirst quenching session of slicing goodness for the day before we put him to rest. He's had an insane, an insane day. I think I did 24 booster boxes today so that I could record them and get them out to people on release day tomorrow and then we're just gonna cruise through the videos for the next like thousand years that's that's our plan that's what we're gonna do so because otherwise it was what it was either do boxes or do nothing because none of the other products are here and i'm not really i don't know if you've noticed i'm not much of a do nothing kind of guy i just i kind of just do whatever i can do so here's your beautiful sparkly glow in the dark box jeff so we're gonna we're gonna send this to you in all of its sparkly beautiful glory all the way to canada and we're just gonna hope that the uh the, the mounties don't get their paws on it because they like shiny stuff too so what do we know what do we know about nightfall bruh i mean people like it people like it a lot there are there's so many good hits in nightfall so many so many ways for it all to go right is this one of them no it's the thunderbird okay well that's cool though we're starting with a nice full hollow thunderbird for a second there i thought we we're gonna go right out of the gate with one of the massive hits that would be super cool. But you know what I mean? Like, there's there's so much notoriety in the cards of Nightfall. I mean, you've got Wendigo and Headless Horseman and the Headless Coal Miner, right? And then, oh my gosh, and a Mothman and a Grim. <laughs> I, I keep cheating. I shouldn't skip ahead. Boom! There's a Reverse Hollow Grim. That's what I mean. And there's Jack Frost, too. It's going to be a big one because everybody knows Jack Frost. Uh, let's put Grim in the King Seat. And let's, all, let's move all this stuff down. So... People are going to like that. So at the end of the day, I, I just, I sort of think about it from like a long-term perspective. You know, there's a lot in this box that's going to contribute to long-term collectible value, in my opinion, for as long as, you know, MetaZoo continues to thrive. And uh, in my personal opinion, that's going to be uh, for as long as they want to thrive, really. Nice full hollow guardian angel. You know, we haven't really showcased this one. This is a beautiful card. Look at that. Let's just take a moment. And appreciate this. I mean, it's it's really nice. It's really nice, and it's a good ability too. It's great for a light deck, great for the theme. But I just I just love the way that the the colors sort of match together with the color of the hollow, and it just it just the way it sparkles is very angelic. It's nice. Oh 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 oh, and a Wendy, dude. Oh, <laughs> double Wendy. <laughs> yes. That's cool. You got a non-hollow Wendy and a reverse hollow Wendy. That is fantastic. Let's put him over here with the Grim. Okay, so you know what? They're reverse hollows, but they're smoking hot reverse hollows. That was like our last... Um, we, we had, as it turns out, we only had one box that ended up being solid reverse hollows. For, that had me. Anytime it's a dark beast, it has me for a moment. We only had one box that was solid reverse hollows, and it was like smoking hot. I mean, it was just every good pull in a reverse hollow so you know don't be too discouraged if you do have an rh heavy box there's there's it seems like there's often still great stuff in it and then you get these non-hollow rares as well these golds as well to just fluff everything out give you cannon fodder for your shuffling for your deck so you don't have to encapsulate every single thing that comes out of a pack you can actually take some and play with it prism beam okay this so this is one of the unlucky 13 and an uh, Obsidian Obelisk. That's cool. These Unlucky 13 are B-E-A-U-tiful. I'm a big fan of these things. Any of the hollows, really. I mean, come on, it's bird monkey brain. It's my crow, my crowfish, bird monkey brain loves sparkle. And you know, and I'm okay with that. There's no shame in that. We, we, we come from the water. We crawled up on the shore. I left my brothers there. I got what I came for. No, 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 no. toadies. Anyone? Anyone? So, oh, 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 oh. Look, 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 look. It's a full hollow grim. Dude, it's a grim box. Jeff. 
Jeff from Canada, Quebec. Look at you coming in with a Grimsy. It's got like a little, it's got a couple print lines on it. That's too bad. Oh, well, still nice. You know, some of these things have little print lines and little manufacturing things, but it's still a Grim Reaper. You know, it's better than a cactus cat with print lines. Am I, am I right? Some people love the cactus cat and all of its cryptonation majesty. But um, I think they'll come around. So, Jeff, man, what do you do? You a collector? Do you have other people up there in Canada? Hey, are you part of that? Uh, there's that guy in, what's he called? The Great White North? Or something? He has like a YouTube channel. And he, he appears to be like a native French speaker. And he's up there in Canada. So probably Quebec. Do you know that guy? Is Wait, are you that guy? Let us know. Let us know if we know that guy from the Great White North. Because I... I watch your channel, or his channel anyway, and that's, it's cool to see people from Quebec. You know, we have one box opening here from Canada. Everyone else is from the United States except for one from Canada, and then one from Italy, actually, and the Italian guy uh, has a buddy who is there over there, too, and they're starting it up. We've got people in the Argos Anon tribe. We've got people in the United Kingdom. Uh, we've got people in Australia. We've got people in New Zealand, people in Germany. Oh, Oh, dude, what are you doing? Look at you. Full hollow, reverse hollow. Full hollow, reverse hollow. That's, oh my gosh. Jeff, this is, you're going to, you're going to do this to us, are you? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like to do that. That's fun. Let's just put you over here in the king seat with your buddy and see if we can keep the hits coming. It's really cool to see MetaZoo just taking off, you know, because because um, one of the things I wondered was because theoretically the lore right now is United States lore based, right? Um, so I, I sort of wondered how much of an international appeal it would have, right? Because that, that matters long term, uh, not just because of in the first five or six sets as we are here in the United States going through United States folklore, right? I wanted to know, well, well how, how appealing will it be for people here? when we are all over the rest of the world doing rest of world folklore. And I think it's a great sign that we're seeing the rest of the world jump into MetaZoo and love MetaZoo regardless. You know, because I think, I think it, it's, it's a great sign because when we leave the U.S., um, I would love for them to, to keep everyone engaged, even though they're cruising around. Oh, my God, no, dude. <laughs> Okay, are you are you trolling me right now? Is this? Come on, come on, Canada! You guys already have so much. Your country's so clean. You don't need this. We need this down here. The United States is having a rough time the last couple of years. We we need this. If we pull another Wendy full hollow, then oh man, you're entering the hot seat of people with very good boxes. Hey, that's a good one. Flood the Earth, Unlucky 13, Full Hollow, beautiful card, very, very playable card. Frogman mixing it up there on the artwork. Very cool. That's a Chris Campman art. I'm a big fan of that one. Yeah, dude. Wow. Let's get the lucky. This is, you know why this is happening? That's why. This is the coin that pulled the God Pack. Were you there for that? This is five ounces of silver from Tuvalu. Actually, it's from the Perth Mint in Australia. Thank you, Australia. For this wonderful lucky coin that pulled us a god pack that is now pulling grim reapers and wendigos and all of the majesty you know what we should do after a while i mean if this carries forward maybe we have to charge it's like an extra two dollars if you want the lucky coin in the in the video uh and then five dollars if you want uh gaia to do the uh <laughs> to do the box opening <laughs> we'll have to train her though she's never done it before but i'm sure she has um, a gentle technique <laughs> we'll just we'll have to pitch it and see and see what she does no you're skating no no surcharge we throw the luck in where the luck is needed my man that's okay hey another beautiful full hollow guardian angel congratulations very nice very very beautiful card how many per spell book is that two well there you go jeff there's your play set of full hollow guardian angels if you are a player if not i highly recommend it uh people are starting to play in those tournaments and stuff and uh, they're having a good time. You see them all. They're smiling, right? Nobody's nobody's crying. 
nobody's nobody looks mad. There's a bunch of smiling people holding their trophies and their tournament playmats. So that's a good sign. I think we're we're gonna see more and more of that. Um, all the way up, you know, fewer and fewer people will will be saying it's not a competitive game. Hey, beautiful divine divine covenant. That's awesome, man. Love the the color mix on this. Just the way it the way it all comes together. This card really worked out in full hollow, and it's another one of the unlucky. The unlucky 13 that only comes in full hollow and not reverse hollow. How many, hmm. So, you know, after you get a Wendigo and a Grim or two, uh, nothing else matters, really. Like, you're already you're already killing it. You're already way ahead. But how many packs do you have left, Jeff? Let's see. Jo Joffrey has 8, 12. You still have 13 packs. There's room for more Grim Reapers. We don't need to stop. Clearly, this is your this is your preference. Clearly, this is your preference. Oh, I thought that was going to be one. <laughs> the full hollow obsidian obelisk. This guy throws me off every single time. Every time we get one of those, I am just convinced that it is one of the amazing ones. And it's just not. Oh, is this another obsidian obelisk? Nope. Nope. See, I have no idea what I'm doing. Twin meteor. All right, fine. Green, black, whatever. It's all the same. And a beautiful, what is that? Alaskan Vortex? Cool. That's cool. As usual, we are sleeving the full hollows and the mega hits. And then we're going to wrap everything up all safely. Put it in the Nightfall box. Put the Nightfall box in some bubble wrap. Put the bubble wrap the box in another box. And then mail it your direction, my friend, for your enjoyment. Now, it's leaving Friday. Um, how long does Canada take? Hopefully, you get it sooner than later, dude. That is my hope, to get these other people as fast as possible. Beautiful Hope Diamond, even though it's not a hollow. Just a beautiful, beautiful card. Big fan of that. If I say that another hundred times, maybe I can get one uh, signed or something. <laughs> By the artist. Chris, next time we if, we... if we chill, if we chill someday, maybe I could do that. Or not, that's cool. Maybe I'll sign one for him. <laughs> that's right. Hey man, I pumped your card to the moon. <laughs> Here, I signed it for you. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Let's start collecting them. And it's a, it's a, what is this? Hey, Hell's Gate. I love this car. This is sweet. Artwork on this is outstanding. Obviously, the hollow is difficult to match, but the non hollow is pretty fantastic, too. And then uh, this guy, uh, I mean, he's fun. Victor Larson. I like, I like what you did here. He's cool. He's like, it's like blowing little notes or something. The Chi Kettler. It's a fearsome, fearsome beastie critter. That's cool. I do have a fearsome critter deck, but it's not a fire one. Um, now it kind of makes me wonder if I should build a fearsome critter deck and, and change because it was earth forest before. Oh, 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 oh. Injured cold. <laughs> and a Jack Frost. What a good pack. <gasps> Look at you. Oh my gosh. We're going to put you in the king's seats. Next to your crazy comrades. Here, we got to move that. Crazy dude. Okay. Well, um, what else do you need? You need like a Mothman and you're done. A full hollow Mothman, full hollow Jack Frost, a Headless and you're done. Or you can just keep pulling Wendigos and Grimms. I mean, that's hard to beat. Werewolf, Adam Ackler. Anything else? Just in case. We're still looking for a secret rare. We haven't found one yet, and there's not much room, you know. Uh, this is the last box today, but there are two more boxes to do. One patron who just needed a little bit more time to pay, which is totally fine. And then another patron who uh, is from Italy. And uh, we're going to do those ones last. So, I mean, we, we still have a chance, but gosh, I was really hoping to knock out a secret rare on here. I've never actually pulled one. I didn't pull one in Crypto Nation either. Uh, which is okay. I mean, they are supposed to be incredibly rare. If any, if any, you know, low budget rando content creator could just pull a secret rare, it wouldn't be very special now, would it? So that's fine. I get it, man. But you know, if I'm pulling it for you guys, then you know, maybe the maybe the gods of Metazoo will bless us with that kind of luck. And I got born from the earth, full hollow here. He's so fun. Look at that cute little guy with his little he, he looks kind of like a biter but like a cute one like he's chewing on you and it hurts but you like it because he's just so cute two packs left two packs left jeff it's your time to shine oh in the clothes 
gorgeous full hollow hope diamond oh dude that looks so nice i love this card i should i actually don't have this card um still <laughs> i don't have a hope diamond uh <laughs> i'll have to pick one up i'll wait for the hopefully for the prices to come down a little bit and then i'll jump on that hope diamond action because it is pretty all right last one is an rh thunderbird so let's count up our totals i mean not that anything matters look you got double wendy and you got triple grim and two of them are full hollow so all right so it doesn't really matter but that's where we're at that's the part of the video we're at let's count it up anyway so we got one two three four fulls five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen full hollows and an amazing lineup dude 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 jeff you killed it congratulations man thank you for giving us this opportunity to share your cards with the metafam for entertainment and thank you metafam for stopping by if you're still here you might as well consider subscribing to the channel we are everything metazoo up-to-date accurate news and product releases and product reviews and box openings and shenanigans and fun things and free stuff and games and every now and then i kick a box over the side of the house or something just just for kicks to add good luck that's what we do so if that's something you would want then subscribe and that's what you'll get and this is argos signing out